I'm going to show you how to load a text file using Langchain. So let's see in the code from Langchain underscore community dot document loaders import text loader. Let us execute our code. Now I'm going to make an object of this text loader and save in the variable loader. I will write here loader and then text loader. And inside this, I'm going to pass these text file name. First, I will read the text file and then I will show you the actual text file and then we can compare the results between this one and the actual one. So I will pass the text file name, which is sample underscore text dot txt. Since this text file isn't in the same directory where I have this notebook, that is why I'm just giving the text file name. If your file is located in any other directory, please keep the entire path. So for example, I can show you my path here. So if I do the ls, and this is the directory where I am working currently and you will see we have this sample underscore text dot txt. I'm going to read this file only. So now let us execute our code. Now let us look at the type of this loader. And it is a text loader you can see here. Now to get the actual content we have to call a function load on this loader object and save it in a new variable i'm going to make a new variable document and then i will call this loader from this i will call the function load and let us execute our code and now i'm going to print this document here and here you can see so this is our text document and we have some new lines here and if you want to print it in a nice format then we have to just call a for loop on this i'll call a for loop and then we will compare it with the actual text file i will write here for documents in document that is in this document print document source and then this i am going to write it as now i'm going to call the from this document i will call document dot metadata dot get and then i will write here source And then the next is going to be unknown. And then I will call print statement again, print. And inside this, I will call this page content. So I will write here from document dot page underscore content and then I will add just one more print statement and this this print statement will add a new line. Now let us execute our code. Now uh, it says list object has no attribute metadata because I have to call this metadata on documents and not on documents. I will write here S and this is also going to be S. And now let us execute our code. And here in the output, you can see that now we got a nice clean text here. So document source this, this is sample underscore text underscore txt. This is the file name of our text file. And then we have this page content. So page content is, this is a sample text file. You can put any text content you wanted. And if you compare it with this document here, 
so you will see page content here and it is starting with this is a sample text file this is a sample text file you can put any text content you want it and so on and whenever you see a new line that is slash n this is printing in a new line and here you will see there are two new lines that is why here we have these two new lines here and now let me uh, open the actual text file so I'll go here in my folder and this is the file name sample underscore text and then here you can see this is a sample text file you can put any text content here you want it and so on and the last line is please uh, feel free to modify this text file as needed for your own use so if I compare it with here so here also we have the same last line feel free to modify this text file as needed for your own use this is how you can load any text file using Langchain and in the next video I am going to show you how we can load all the text file in a folder at once using Langchain I hope you enjoyed this video if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching